Welcome back to another episode. Excellent target. Looks like you're a natural. You didn't stop your investigation there, did you? No, this case really intrigued me. What could have motivated him to do something like that? I mean, I checked out piles of leads and, and discovered almost by accident that this wasn't the first. There had been other killings with the same profile. You mean where the killer had the same bizarre M.O. and stuck around afterwards? Exactly. Three weeks earlier, on the other side of town, another stabbing victim in the middle of the street. No motive. Then I discovered a third case, two months prior to that. Then another, and another, and always the same M.O. And in all these cases, the perp was arrested? Nope. Either they committed suicide before we got there, or else they went nuts. But each time, the stabbing was identical. They all cut the arteries leading to the heart very precisely. Then they carved a snake on their own forearms. And your investigation into the supermarket killing. Did it lead anywhere? You should drop this one, Detective. This is not just a murder case. There's something very odd going on behind the scenes. Looks like I'll be starting a new file. No, not again, please. This is boring. <sighs> oh, thank God. I'd worked good and hard on the investigation. Done everything Carla had asked. Now I just wanted to relax and play some b-ball. And also sell the little score I had with Jeffrey. Yo, nice threads, Jeffrey. Very stylish, my man. You got me totally psyched out in that shit. Right. Okay, here's the rules. First to score 10 points wins the game and $200. That cool for you? You can kiss your money goodbye. We'll see. Let's do it. Not a boring mini games, I hate that. Yes, now that was pure poetry in motion. Oh, fuck. What the hell are they doing? The more I see you play, Jeffrey, the more I think you should take up chess. Oh, I screwed this up big time. Speed, technique, killer ball handling. Watch and learn, bro. <sighs> Five more to go. Oh, 
Ah, screw that up as well. Fucking hate this shit. I pressed the wrong key. Oh, alright. One more. Oh shit, I pressed the wrong key as well. Yes! Now that was pure poetry in motion. He hits the lane, he drives in, he scores! Ladies and gentlemen, that's our play of the day! Yo, you D up pretty good for a white cop. You ain't so bad yourself. You got some game. Maybe I should have mentioned, I did some ball at college. So, as for the hundred, it's game over, man. You're a real SOB, Tyler. I know, and that's why you like me, Jeffrey. So let's do Kane again. Kane is awesome. Lucas. Lucas Kane. Naster Nartilan, Nekatan Nekli, Kortniklan, Narniklan, Nekmestan, Apanin, Onu, Iklan, Tano. I'm Superman, I touch everything. There's a lot of wind in my room. I failed. I died? No, really. That sucks. How the hell did I die? I'm gonna smash my keyboard. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, great. On 
only got two lives left. So I have to keep on pressing. Not again, what the hell? Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, this hurts my hands like hell. Fuck, I pressed the wrong one. Oh well, didn't really matter, I see. to my door really wants to have me dead I see Lucas. Lucas's terrifying story haunted me all night long. I had to see him, to talk to him. I had to find out what Agatha had told him. I wanted to look my brother in the eye and hear the truth. I'd never been to his apartment before, and it took me some time to find it. Lucas Kane, that's it. Lucas? Lucas, open the door! Lucas! I could swear that I heard a scream coming from inside. The doorman said Lucas was at home, but he isn't opening. Lucas is in danger. I've got no other choice. Oh my god! And that's how my story ends. Officially, they called it a suicide. I'd never find out <laughs> oh the truth god, about what yeah. really happened to me in that anyway, restaurant on that cold January night.